What's going on, everybody? I'm Lamb, and this is the Real Estate Insider. And tonight we are looking at the home, a home owned by Vivica A. Fox. Yes, you know, home. Vivica. Um, if you would take a moment, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, uh, and then we're going to get this party started. So go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. When you come in, say hey, say what's up, share your, uh, tell me where you're watching from, what 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 set you claim. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What state you're representing, rather. We're looking at the home. A home that was owned by Vivica Fox. The reason I am the thing about this home, while it's not a huge home, um, it because she sold, it was on the market to be sold, it shows her style. Let's start this party. So I can show the neighborhood now. I mean, it doesn't matter because she no longer lives in the house. All right. So I just say that it's Bella Vista's in Porter Ranch. Same area where um Kevin Stage has a home and also where um, Evelyn Lozada had a home or has a home from um, basketball wives. They all lived in this same general area, Porter Ranch. All right. And I've actually done Evelyn's home. I've actually done the home that, that uh, Vivica is in now as well, which is the same area. Um, but this is the one she just, she saw and here. This is what the home looks like. It's pretty small looking, right? But it looks a lot bigger on the inside. Uh, just a little more, a little more about it. A little more about the home is it uh, has three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It spans over only twenty two hundred fifty one square feet. She sold it in May of twenty twenty for nine hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. How much did she pay for it? Let's see. She paid eight hundred and seventy three thousand for it in twenty fifteen and sold it for nine fifty five. So she made, yeah, dumb. She didn't make much. She made less than $100,000 on it, unfortunately. After five years, maybe the market wasn't great. All right, so this is, um, we're going through the gate. This is the entrance. It's the entrance. What y'all think so far of this exterior? Do you like it so far? Is it too small or is it just right? I mean, it was just her and what, a couple of boards? I mean, a couple of kids I think she has. I mean, I guess it's cozy enough for them, but the homes are very close to one another, I'm saying as well. But very cozy, very cozy home. All right. If we go inside, you're going to immediately be able to recognize that this is a Vivica Fox home. Over the top, very, quite extravagant. You know, she has, is that a picture of her on the left side over there? I believe it is. Pamela says, not impressive. Yeah, the exterior is not very impressive at all. I will say she did a lot of work on this inside to glam it up a lot. And to put our own personal touches to it like this. I mean, this has got a lot of art. Got some paintings. And I guess there's a painting on art on the left. I mean, art on the right. Nice chandelier in the ceiling. All right. Let's see. Let's go a little further here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. When you come in again, say, hey, say, what's up? Do the thumbs up. and Let me know where you're watching from so I can acknowledge you. She likes Michael Jackson, it seems. And again, chandelier. Chandelier, big chandelier in the living room. Got a cup of that sort of carpet and a nice little white rug. She seems to like purple. You know what vibes I'm getting when I look at that dining room, the dining room chairs and this furniture? There is a name of a furniture place. Let's see if anyone can guess what furniture place I'm talking about. There's a furniture place. It's in Dallas for sure, but it might be everywhere. I don't know. Where I immediately think of this furniture, furnishings, furniture place when I see this. See if anybody can guess it. Oh, this is the home she purchased on love. Jasmine, you be, you know what? You be on it. Is the y'all heard have y'all heard of Z Gallery? Y'all ever heard of Z Gallery? It's not cheap. It's kind of it's, it's high. To me, I think it's expensive. But it depends on your level of, of finance, I guess. I think it's expensive. But this looks like Z Gallery to me. It's ex like this, particularly the chairs over at the dining room area, and this purple and there's purple chair on the left side. I immediately think I immediately think Z Gallery. Anybody know what I'm talking about? What's up, Craig? Welcome to the show. Z Gallery. You know what I'm talking about Z Gallery? Yes, it reminds me of Z Gallery. All right, let's go a little further. Uh, let's see. It's another angle here. Um, what's that to the? Is that a fish aquarium or is that a photo on the left side? I don't know. I don't know. I like that there's doors to go to the exterior. I will just remind y'all up front, this is going to be a short one today. We're going to stick to the 30 minutes today. Um, 
it's not a big house, so it's not going to take us very long. But Sunday shows, I try not to do Sunday shows too long. I'm going to start making the Friday shows a lot longer, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. And the Sunday shows are going to be shorter because people got to get up good work tomorrow. Some people. But, you know. And then I got another show later. It looks like a framed TV. I don't really like I don't really like framed TV. You've heard of Zeke Allen? Uh, okay. Let's see what else we got other than another. So we just get we just get a whole lot of angles. She now she has a lot of photos. What do y'all think about people having photos, portraits of themselves throughout the house? Is that tacky or is it just is it cool? Or is it depends on how it's done, if it's done tastefully. I know this is the second photo I've seen herself. She has Michael Jackson. Um, she has the nice little sconces on the wall, which I, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the style overall so far in this cozy space. And again, Jesus, keep getting the same, just getting angles. Now, the stained glass window on, on the left, I don't know about the stained glass window. Mm, that's a little interesting. That's normally reserved for churches, is it not? Does that go? Does that work for you? What are your thoughts on the stained glass window? That's another shot of the kitchen. All right, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. No, okay, who is that? Is that Beyonce? No, is that who's that on that photo? Is that Rihanna? I'm not sure who that is. This area is kind of busy too. There's all those knickknacks on the table. Yeah, look like some knickknacks. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let me see. We don't need to see another pic of her. I like Miss B and I'm gonna stare at feeling, but just let him rest in peace, even though he wasn't my cup of tea. Right on, right on. Right on. I feel you. I'm with you on that 100%. Um, oh, oh, thank you, Jamil. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel, by the way. I think I may have seen you here before. I'm not sure. But, so that's Diana Ross back in the earlier days. The boss, Diana Ross. I, I'm sorry. I didn't even recognize Miss Diana. So he, she has legends on the wall. So I saw Michael J. She had MJ over there. So she got MJ. She got, who is that? Is that Madonna? Beyonce, who is that? Anybody recognize who that is on the right side? Is that her? Who is that? I'm thinking this is one from Love and Listen. Uh, which, which is who is that? I don't know who that is. Okay, if y'all know, let me know. Let's see what else we got. See if there's any more of this small little bitty house. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. It is a little house. Almost like a funeral home right there in the front. Okay. Um. So here's her bedroom. And again, these are her furnishings. This is her style. <laughs> he said, Nigga, this is disappointing. Y'all don't like it. Y'all don't like this house. I had to show it. I had to show it, though. I had to show it. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think of this bedroom? Y'all think of the bedroom? What's up with these windows, these church windows, though? I'm not really sure what's up with the church windows. Uh, you got prints on the wall behind her now. So she has a thing for legends. She has things for these extravagant over-the-top chandeliers as well. Nice ceiling fan. Again, more Z gallery, um, Z gallery feel. Got a nice throned chair over there in the corner and a whole lot of pictures over on the on the chessel draw on the left side as well. So yeah, let's let's what y'all think of the bedroom. Is it too busy in here for y'all too? Is it too many pillars on the thing? Is it too much? Z Gallery esque. What y'all think? I mean, you said, but you said so. Somebody says Madonna. It is Madonna. Okay. Tina Turner. Was that Tina Turner? It was a Tina Turner. Hold on, let me go back. Huh. What Tina Turner? Is? So that's Madonna on the right. Okay. We had a Tina Turner somewhere. There's Mike. I'm just looking, I'm just looking. I'm just looking here. I'm just looking. Oh, here we go. That's the next picture. Okay, so is that Whitney? She got Whitney and herself again. And a mirrored chess of draw. Not a fan. The bedroom is whack. <laughs> Yelena already giving her rating. She said a four. A four? Oh, God. Oh, I tell you. For the whole house, you know, or just for the bedroom? For the whole house or the bedroom. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see, this is the bathroom. It's love pictures. Now this look okay, except for those windows. I'm not sure why she don't like to see out, but that's very weird to me. 
Um, but I do like the color of the bathroom. I really like the light above the tub. I like the tub, but I need I need some light. I need some natural light to come through. You see, it's all a little too gaudy. The same picture as Madonna. It looks like Tina on the left. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's a bit over the top. It, Billy Bob, what's going on, Billy Bob? Billy Bob says it's uh, too busy giving the bedroom a three. Oh, man. We got 50 people in here. If y'all would hit that thumbs up for me and show, show a little love, I'd appreciate it. Um, so y'all said it's too got it. But is it, does it give you Vivica vibes? Does it make you think this is what Vivica, this is what you would assume Vivica would have for her house? I'm curious. Is this what you would have? I'm, I think I might show y'all the video of the old house. Uh, I mean, the new house after we do look at this. Y'all want to see the, y'all want to see the new one? I just played a video from the old the video I did already. Let me know, and we'll we'll do a comp compare and contrast. I uh, and see. I think Tina was in the same picture as MJ was in. Really, I missed it. How am I missing that? Hey, Kendra, what's going on? This is nothing like what I thought her taste would be. Really, I figured she'd be a little over the top. I guess it's okay for a single person at her age with no kids. Oh, she ain't got no kids. I'm saying a bed. It's gonna be a kid's bedroom in a minute. I wonder who's stepping in. Nieces and nephews, perhaps. This house is in Porter Ranch, um, Marcella, um, near what's that? Porter Ranch. That's, I'm not sure how close or far North Ridge, Porter Ranch area. I'm not sure how far from LA that is. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for that. But let me read this comment again. I guess it's okay for a single person. Hey, she said she had a super huge home in the past and it was too big for her. I like the style, but small. Well, this one's the one she's talking about, and she sold this one, and she got another one. All right, not really. It does. She's all glam. We said, <laughs> we said, no, yes, the new home is beautiful. <laughs> yes, I want to see the new. Okay, I'm going to show you I knew it after this one. We almost threw it. Uh, <laughs> is this how it's like? Hey, the new house is probably more of what we're more. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little different. We won't be seeing her furnishings. Uh, we'll just be seeing kind of what it looked like before she knew it. <laughs> Family, you funny. You like, you like uh uh, nope. All right, let me see. This is another shot of the bed. Now that wallpaper's nice. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really trying to make it uh, do so. Okay, she got the set it off poster at the back. Um, she got somebody over there on the right that P Diddy on that photo. Photo I can't tell. Now this is busy. She got her awards over on the left, and she got a whole lot of awards over there. A whole lot of NAACP image awards. Um, what else? SAG maybe. I know there's no Oscars. But this is quite busy as well. This is the kids' room. I'm not sure who, who she got to sleep. Maybe this is a guest room for kids and nieces and nephews, perhaps. All right. Mm. Okay, that's ugly. This is outside. Another outside shot. So that's that's her former home. Oh, Lord. I like this one better than DJ. Really? You like this one better than Envy's home? Envy Home was a little much. It was huge, though. Envy Home is huge. But it, it, was a little, it was a little interesting. She used to have a 10,000 square foot home years ago. Really? I'm about to find that one and take a look at it. I see you live now. You're going to leave because you're not impressed. Oh, man. You ain't... She's in the valley north of LA. Okay. <laughs> Like it's made for me Looks like the sky gon' burst apart And it's gon' rain on me I wish I could take my heart And fill the vacancy It's bound by chains and torn apart We left a memory